Howdy, it's Jim Arado, and we're at Polar Caves in Rumney, New Hampshire. And this was on our recent trip to um, pretty much Vermont, but we hopped over into New Hampshire quite a bit on this trip, actually. The, the two states are right next to each other, and yeah, actually right, right on the border, it just seems like... Um, yeah, it's just some fun driving around, but we uh, we stopped here. This was uh, this has been on my list for a while. I like caves a lot, and this is a pretty significant one. Uh, wanted to check it out, and, and it's actually it, it's not your standard kind of tourist show cave situation. It's almost more of a wild cave kind of thing with some other attractions like. Uh, little kind of petting zoo area when you first go in. This was really sweet and we liked it a lot. I like Polar Caves a lot. There's there's a lot to like about it. They have a nice gift shop. I did briefly talk to a fellow who works there. Is I believe his name's Bob. I can't remember his last name. Um, but he, he has worked there for 25 years. And I believe the place has been open for about 100 years, if I'm not mistaken. So... Yeah, 20, 25 year employee. That that's just pretty cool, and um, yeah, I, I just I thought that was neat. But yeah, this this is kind of set up differently than most caves, and I, I wanted to explain a little bit about it. There there's technically nine kind of small caves you kind of walk through on your own, and man, um, I I skipped a few to be honest with you just just because it's it's a bit exhausting and we were on a little bit of a time limit i think they say you need about two hours to really cover the whole place and we really had maybe an hour a little over an hour budgeted as as we drove through here but we we hit uh, several of the caves and just enjoyed walking through the park but uh, yeah, oh and there's this cute little bridge here it, th th yeah there's a cute kind of walkway you kind of go through there's there's kind of a little maze you can walk through. In some ways, this this reminded me a little bit of uh, Rock City in Tennessee, not not quite the same scale, but kind of just a similar, you know, kind of go at your own pace kind of attraction, and still kind of out in nature, and just kind of a unique natural attraction. So, but yeah, you're going uphill, and you know there, there's there's little stops here and there though, so you don't really feel like you're walking way uphill most of the time but uh, but their caves were formed during the last ice age and they actually had some pretty cool signs set up explaining you know that the ice was man, you know it, it sort of gave either 15 or 25 times taller than the hill you see in front of you it was pretty pretty epic when you stopped and you thought about everything but it talked about how the ice kind of you know manipulated the rock and kind of dropped some of the rocks in certain areas and yeah it's it's just it's a cool unique place especially you know if you stop and read signs and, and think think about what they're talking about and they have this nice little uh kind of wooden walkway this was in one of the first little stops you can kind of go through yeah bef before you get to the caves but the caves were basically there's nine of them and they're i, I would call them short caves just short caves in general but there, there's some tight squeezes, and there's some up and down areas, and sometimes it gets a little confusing about which way to go. You know, and I, I've got to tell you, it's, um, yeah, I would compare it more to almost a wild cave, wild caving adventure, more so than a show cave situation. You know, there are signs up kind of telling you what's going on and explaining information about the cave. Yeah, there, there was some information about uh, how high the ice was during that ice age right there i was reading that sign but yeah there's uh um, yeah there's 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 nine caves and you know you usually you're walking down some steps into them or or you know going through kind of a small opening and you know it it requires eh, sucking your stomach in at times here was a young fella he was uh, taking our tickets kind of at the first place you go to and yeah little little information here and there talking about the caves but yeah it's, it's a bit of a tight squeeze just in general just to be honest with you yeah if you're if you're claustrophobic at all this this place could get to you quick 
Uh, I, I've I've had nightmares about oh, places like so this for sure. So um, you know, like I said, some of the squeezes are just really tight. Yeah, the, some of them are tight, and it's very you know, polar pinch. Some some of them are, um, you know, like I said, a tight squeeze. You have to crawl. And there's some kind of ladder stairs you have to go up. It gets it gets pretty tricky just the way you, you you'll want to go through them, as you can see right there. And I know there was another couple, yeah, those guys. Um, we were keeping up with them for a little bit there at first, and we we were a little bit ahead of them, and then I lost them. I hope they're okay. I hope they did, you know. I hope they're not still stuck in Polar Cave somewhere. But uh, yeah, we just kind of lost track of them. But yeah, check that out. That is, yeah, like like I said, a little unnerving. And it seemed like every one of the caves was just a little bit of. Uh, Yeah, they're, they're okay. I'm going down. Yeah, that that's that's just a heck of a little pinch there. And you, you get down there in the bottom, and you kind of have to twist around the stairs. It's it's just a bit of a tight squeeze. Some of these caves could definitely be used in horror movies. <laughs> But yeah, check that out. And, and I've, I've left my camera going. I think with the rocks kind of being everywhere, you, you might not get a good sense of just exactly what's going on. But it, it gets a little confusing. You know, you're ducking down a rock. You're looking over here. You're trying to figure out, how, how do I get out of here? And, and sometimes it, it takes a moment or two to really figure out, well, do I go this way? Do I go that way? How, how do I get out of here? So it's, it's a bit tricky. Luckily, I mean, you could kind of follow signs, but, um, oh yeah, if I couldn't read English or something, this, this might be really difficult. But uh, yeah, I sure as heck enjoyed it. I mean, it was just a good, weird, unique experience. If you're into caves and if you like to do show caves, this is an extremely, extremely unique and rare uh, treat. Yeah, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I'm I'm kind of remembering it. Whew. Yeah, it was just really tricky, and there there were there were several moments that I was like, okay, how, where do I go? How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's an opening. So yeah, I mean, it was just it was just very very tricky, and I asked Bob, you know, after after we went through. Like, how, how often do people panic in here? Like, how often have you had to go in and rescue somebody? And he said in his 25 years of working there, only once he had, uh, there was a little girl who uh, had a bit of a freak out moment and got stuck. And he had to go in and kind of help rescue one little girl. And I, I don't think it was anything serious. I think she just, uh, you know, again, kind of freaked out. And didn't know what to do. Yeah, check that out. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. <laughs> I think that one was Fat Man Squeeze. Yeah, and you, you get a lot of these kind of things. Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, I went out of focus there. Just just some cr kind of crazy openings here and there, and. Uh, Yeah, just just it, easy to get confused. Very easy to get confused. Very easy to get winded quick, also. And then you know you get um, again. You're going uphill as you go through each of the caves, and great views. This was uh, you know they they do advertise even if you don't go through the caves, you're gonna enjoy the walk. It is very very tranquil, very relaxing. It just just pleasant scenery. But the caves and the walkways and everything can uh, can can get a little uh, oh yeah just again a little scary just to be honest. But it's a great view. It's a unique cave, and I, I kind of regret that I didn't do that. I didn't go ahead and try to do every single cave. So I'm I'm thinking eh, I need to go back again. It was a cool stop, and um, actually when you think of New Hampshire. There's not a ton of attractions that are kind of, you know, must-hit bucket list attractions. 
you know, the old man of the mountain is no longer there. Uh, there's Mount Washington. I do want to visit that whenever I can. And there's America Stonehenge. Otherwise, there's not a ton. And, and I, I also count polar caves among the, uh, you know, attractions you want to see in New Hampshire. Oh, and, and also the uh, Franklin Pierce sites. We did see some of those on this trip. Uh, if you're from New Hampshire, let me know what other attractions I need to catch next time I'm in, I'm in the area. But yeah, we loved we loved polar caves. It was really cool.